Fuban is an optional secret boss in Chapter 2. You'll need to complete a quest given by this yellow-robed squire to fight him. You can find him in the rock rest flat part of the Fright Cliff region in Chapter 2. He will be drunk. To sober him up, you'll need a key item called Sobering Stone. This can be found near Windrest Bridge Shrine. Travel there and follow this path. You will find the Sobering Stone in this location. Go back to the Drunken Boar with Sobering Stone. After this, he will set off to the Crouching Tiger Temple for a meaty meal. Thanks. <laughs> you can find him near the temple entrance, interact with him, and he'll request you to bring him a Jade Lotus. These can be found in many locations with ponds and water bodies. After you deliver the Jade Lotus, he will speak about a realm of gold and leave. The boar will return near where you first met him at the rock rest flat area of the Fright Cliff. But before going to him, you will need the Arhat Gold piece, which you can get by defeating this boss. Unfortunately, he won't be happy about you having possession of the gold and will challenge you to a duel. Defeat him and he will open up a gate for the realm of gold. Head inside and you'll find yourself transported into the past and into the kingdom of Sahali. As you make your way ahead, you will have to defeat the Tiger Vanguard before you meet the Yellow Rat Sage, who will summon a giant scarab in the sands below. Head down and defeat him. Halfway through the battle, the Yellow Wind Sage will stun Fuban entirely. At this point, you'll need to climb up its head to reach the large statue on its back and examine a glowing eye. After a cutscene, the battle will resume again, but this time Yellow Rat Sage will join you in the battle. Together, defeat him to obtain the Wind Tamer equipment as a reward. And that's all for this video. Hope this video helps you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming content. Thanks for watching.